Another hot day, hot like fireside. But I guess it's blazing Monday, so mm. let us kick it off. Def Nation, the entertainment feed community. Wagwan, what do you hand the hot piece of Monday, a blazing Mondays? Community members, no. <laughs> For real, today is really hot, really, really hot. I can totally understand how some people might be extremely miserable in the heat, so aggravated. Worse than this at 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, Sonia. But try all the cool meds, it will help you cool down, I think. On screen right now, it is some snow. I hope that helps. To the topics though, the video that you are seeing, the person in the video performing, that is dancehall artist 450. And that's his performance at Alkaline's New Rule held in New York City. In a this morning report, I only shared Movada and Alkaline's performance, making it seem as if it's the only two entertainers that perform at the events. Quite a number of entertainers perform at the event, including 450, as you see, Schema, Starlock, and a few others. The lineup, it was a great one, but still, check out the rest of 450's performance. As we dare talk about performance, the other day during Tentix performance at Popcorn's Back to School Treat. During his performance, something caused the popcorn to take the mic from Tentic. Lot of people speculated that it was because of the bad word that Tentic cursed, while some have been stating that it's because of what Tentic said. I tell the youth them that one day them can come put on a show bigger than popcorn show. I don't see nothing wrong with that, but some people have it to say that Tentic has style popcorn, making it seem as if the treat that he put on it's nothing. Although there have been claims that popcorn spent over 8 million on that treat. 8 million GMD of course. But some people are say popcorn never style ten tick, some people are say popcorn style ten tick. Then take himself feel as if popcorn style him, popcorn diss him. Hence the reason why Tentic took to social media where he, well, was it this video now circulating on social media? a brand new melon, And of course, you know that Tentic right there is adding to the popcorn melon eating drama, which became a thing after Denik used the popcorn face on a t shirt while singing a remix for a song, a freaky version for a song. What is Tentic trying to tell us? Uh, buying a watermelon from a guy, then, then smashing it on the ground right after? I think that's his way of telling us that uh, him and popcorn are good. Popcorn violate him, and popcorn is a melon eating cunt. I am not stating that popcorn is no damn melon eating cunt, but I'm saying I must that Tentic can tell me buying a watermelon, then I throw it right on the ground. Although Tentic, I feel as if you could uh, buy the watermelon, then go elsewhere, go throw it on the ground. That just seemed like a disrespect to the vendor. Come on. Although I don't give the man the money, you know, but still, buying the man product, throwing it on the ground just to make a video where I guess you are taunt popcorn. That don't look good. You could have went somewhere else with the melon, throw it on the ground. And not only that, too much people debout, too much hungry people debout. For you as an entertainer, if you buy a watermelon, and not throw it on the ground and waste the watermelon. Come on, I'm authentic. You have to think about these things, you know. And I'm not the only one who feels this way about it. Most of the people them that I see comment on the video on social media, most of the people them that I see share their thoughts on the video, comment on the video, they are against you throwing the watermelon on the ground, even if you and popcorn have a thing on Although that is not some people's argument. Their argument is that Tentic can size up the popcorn. But a majority of the people them not pay much attention to that and basically are focused more on what Tentic did with the melon. Before we get to the comments them though, 
authentic if you feel as if Popcorn disrespected you at the show. Maybe he did because as a top artist as Tentic, Popcorn by right shouldn't have grabbed the mic from Tentic like that. Come on. So I do understand the Tentic being upset. Be real people, Popcorn could have just simply looked on Tentic and tell him, say, yo, now do that. Remember youths there, you know. Simple as that. And not only that, Tentic, most people have it for say, are the bad word, your curse. And you going against Popcorn for taking the mic like that, doing this right now, a lot of people are going to have it that you just simply don't want to accept your wrongs. Maybe the best thing to do is to just simply come out and say, yes, Popcorn, I'm wrong for curse the bad word, but stylist style me I grab the mic from me like that. Maybe, still, on to the comments. And Popcorn never style him. He literally took the mic because he cursed at the kids' street and he keeps it clean at his streets. He literally made a child come off stage for singing about busing gun. Grown men should stop taking everything so personal or as a diss. If the man didn't rate Tentic, you wouldn't have sung his song publicly in a microphone or even had him at his street. This is what you call burning a bridge unnecessarily. Do better. Next person wrote, man just cancel himself. Nah, I wouldn't say Tentic cancel. Maybe this is slightly damaging, but I wouldn't say cancel entertainer. Nah, sir, you're crazy. That is too drastic. And to other comments though. Next person, SMH. So why them never give it to a homeless person? Now the person selling there going to have to clean up the mess. SMH. See that authentic? A lot of people not even know why you did that. Them just have it that you are boss. A hype. So you can buy this, take it and throw it on the ground. Like it's nothing. I know that is not the reason, but I'm saying enough people don't know why you did it and have it. Say that is the reason why you did it. Next person wrote, How to be a waste man 101. And I feel as if this is the last comment we are going to look at. All of this and you still can't reach Popcorn's level. Humble youth. Popcorn reacting to Tentic, don't know, but he recently shared this on his Instagram stories after Tentic video. And you see, it's a tattoo of Unruly. Don't know if that is Popcorn's hand, but as you see, it's a tattoo of Unruly. And there is a next tattoo of Unruly. Maybe that's sending a message to Tentic, maybe not. The entertainment feed community will soon return. In the meantime, go and enjoy the track titled Try Again by Dawid featuring DJ Shine. Whatever you throw at me, I get back up. No matter the fight, I will be strong. Almighty God will be holding my hand. With some 91 on my grave, I will stand. Don't be sad. You gotta be glad. This video is now circulating on social media. Don't know if it is recent, but I think it is. Bojavantan speaking on the government stating that Jamaicans have to at SSL. Our Minister of Finance I tell the people that Jamaica say a private company named SSL. Rub up and teeth up how much money from people at Pussy and Bolt and all them guys there. Them who are the Jamaican people now go back and pay this private company yeah. for the money them and them friends them invest and teeth up and laugh up so I want to know how long them out take Jamaican people for food for and how long you know, sit down and make them shit for you know you have to wake up you know because them people don't care about I and I yeah you don't see it you have to wake up here yeah. them abuse you have to stop I don't know if it's an attempt to wake you up for make us say we are a fool. But if you don't try to show it, if you don't buy it for some fool, the store you don't buy it from, you don't go and go bring it back. Because a fool you don't buy no good. Yeah? You don't buy a sensible man and think it was a fool. I've got to carry it back to the store. Mm. <laughs> La God Almighty, if I talk, I weak. But remember, but for reaper we sow, you know. All man are free for them so If you sow good, you reap good. If you sow wickedness, you reap wickedness. If you sow righteousness, you reap righteousness. You don't get no better than that. You sow people that need economic freedom, they need political freedom, they need all kind of freedom. This man has 400 teachers slated to resign from a tertiary level in Jamaica. So, who the dunce already have got dunce now? I know them have got mad. Hmm? We're not a problem, the world we're not a problem. I don't know. Maybe the market straight this bullshit at all. I don't want everything to go digital, you know. So maybe I might get you like a teacher and replace them with computer. We don't know. But if I replace them with computer, who stand for benefit? Now the guy Bill Gates again, now he wants the patent for all computer software. Microsoft. So just generate money for the rich and rich and rich and rich and poor people just suffer so. So we don't have no sense, man. 
I don't have nothing to you know. I don't want to think I have more sense than you know. I just have common sense for looking at things. I think most of them are not time for looking at nothing. We have to look in at it for you know. And these are the rules of those who step up on the front line musically for uplift and educate the people. They might even put them life on the line. Because we've been buried alive, so we know what it is to die a thousand deaths. But this shit you have to stop. This bullshit you have to stop. Yeah? We, need, we need real freedom and this social free justice. You see, I'm going to say I rob and I, and I, and I take down the people. Them, um, what them call them? I bury them and everything. I don't even know if I something good or something bad, but I see a movement in play. I like it look well organized, like it all like it's straight. Yeah. I can't say, well, for the man who has given them people their money, their money they ensure, protect on their life. You know? Maybe that's sinister plot as well. So we don't know. But at the end of the day, my people, stay vigilant, no man, and I could get up and lace up a boot. Can't take this no more, you know? I want to know this SSL there. I want to see this building after myself, to ask I don't even know where SSL there. Hmm? I want to see it for myself. To see them location. I want to know why we have to pay them back this money. Huh? Them, never, them never donate to no charity. They have two charities. We have to pay 14 million dollars a month so this government can investigate. And what kind of investigation that costs 14 million to 15 million dollars a month? But the right is backside. These Jamaican people. We're not a problem. We're not deep shit. We don't smell it. I love you now. I don't stay with you too long. I don't come for riding up. I come for what I want to do. You understand? The Jamaican future must be determined by good Jamaicans, firm Jamaicans. The future of this nation is at hand. And it's been squandered on our resources that have been plundered and, 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 and the wealth of this nation has been misappropriated. And the people of this nation are suffering immensely and crime is on, on the rise and, and it's so terrible. And those who sit at the top, them have the most bodyguard, them surround themselves with the most guns, them surround themselves with the most of everything. They're yeah, the common man still from 1970s, the change of people are making things, road a change. We are supposed to have road from 1980, 1990, 2000. We are supposed to have good road from all them time there. Because a long time Jamaica people are suffering. I just want people, so that people live good on the island, the rest of it, I back shit out of hog mouth. Nobody know and talk. Why? The private sector, the school, the teacher, the police. <laughs> you know? So we need great people to stand up and make them vice be heard. And stop being reactive. And stop thief the resources of this great nation. We have had enough of criminal politicians. We have had enough of people enriching themselves from this great nation while the people live in abject squalor. Do you understand me? We have had enough. We have had enough of you placing officers on the road to fleece the common man of them hard earned money through to traffic stop, but you're not paying them a dime. You're not increasing them pay. We have had enough, bro. You know, I know I come and come disparage and cuss and go on, you know, because that is what they want. But let's have a decent conversation and concern the future of this great nation and where we should be and where we are at. You know? Because we're stagnant. And we don't want to make no improvement as a people. We're happy, we talk about things only for a minute and then we turn around and we're back to where we were, even further. You know? We're surrounded by enemies of progress, my people. And until we realize that we are surrounded by enemies of progress, we shall always be surrounded by enemies of progress. Hmm? Wake up, Jamaica. Wake up. That was Bojo. Now here is Dr. Led. Come here. I need your help in understanding something that happened recently. The finance minister of Jamaica recently announced that the government a.k.a. taxpayers' money will be used to fund salaries 
and operational expenses along with legal fees for no embattled investment firm SSL. Now Jamaica, you tell me, what is the connection between this government and this company that taxpayers, innocent taxpayers, suffering taxpayers, needy taxpayers, must foot a $15 million monthly bill for a company that has brought shame and disgrace to the nation. Back to school time. How many kids out there don't know how the school fee will get paid? The, 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 the book list is still outstanding. The uniform is not there, not even a haircut. They don't know how they're going to ride the bus to school. What about the back to school grants? What about the school book grants? What about the school fee grants? What about the bus ride grants? We're here supporting a criminal entity. How about you shut the company down and continue your investigation? How about you seize the travel documents of the persons of interest in that organization so they can't move? You are paying almost half a million dollars monthly to people who have brought shame and disgrace to the nation. But yet you have small farmers who can't get grants. You have young business entrepreneurs who can't get grants. You have aspiring business persons who can't get grants. You have kids who can't buy their school books. You have kids who can't afford lunch at school. But we can expend $15 million monthly to SSL. Help me to understand the logics. Oh yes, we want to ensure the investigation continues. Lock down the firm. According to the finance minister, the company, the firm, SSL, has no viable financial future. So why all this investment at the expense of taxpayers? Help us to understand that. Because when you all come onto these news mediums, and you speak, you speak as though you're speaking to a dumb nation, like no one understands, no one has brains. But you actually have smart people out here who are questioning the nonsense that takes place among our leadership structure. And it is time for us to stand up as Jamaicans and say this now go work. We as taxpayers now pay this. Nation, just before we close off, remember a song to check out that we had featuring DJ Stian with the song titled Try Again. Whatever you throw at me, I get back up. No matter the fight, I will be strong. Almighty God will be holding my hand with some 91 on my grave. I will stay. Entertainment feed community. That right for now. You see what time o'clock, you see what time o'clock, you orient get the f out of here. And as usual, my people.